Welcome to the new series that will uncover a different breed of athlete, one who doesn't play for the money or the fame, and whose stadium are the streets of New York City. Why don't you come along for the ride, because this is Street Games. Welcome to Street Games, presented by Pontiac. Ken and Harkin back with you yet again. And today, we're going to head on down to Staten Island, where we're going to play a little football. But not with an ordinary league. This league is rich with tradition and deep with talent. Then, from one extreme to another, we're going to tidy things up a bit when we play one of the world's most popular sports, cricket. That's all coming up, but right now, it's opening day. We've put as many as 7,000 people in the stands to watch two touch tackle games. You can't go into a corner store, you can't go anywhere without two people running into each other and talking about the Touch Tackle League. Played in the Staten Island Touch Tackle League. That's part of their obituary. <laughs> It's opening day for the Staten Island Touch Tackle Football League. Two of the league's powerhouses, one-on-one -on -one Beer Garden and Damage Inc., will face opponents to kick off the new season. But for fans and players alike, this league is about more than football. It's also about Staten Island. Staten Island is very unique because we're surrounded by water. The only way you can get here is with a bridge or a boat. The best part about Staten Island is the food, I think, the Italian food. That's my favorite part, and the people. You can travel from one end of Staten Island to the other and know somebody who's been in a touch tackle league. That's good there. If you mention Staten Island, you mention touch tackle. If you go somewhere where you have a hotbed of that they grow potatoes, Staten Island grows touch tackle people. And the league has been growing touch tackle players since 1956. The one constant through the years has been the Margiata family headed up by the league's president and icon, Charlie Margiotta. It's not Charlie Margiotta, it's Charlie Touch Tackle. My son Mike, he's affiliated with me, Touch Tackle. They just scored as a penalty. I grew up watching the league. My father had teams, he played. So from the time I understood football, I, I was at all the games. Then it was just a natural progression to play in the league, which I did for about 12 years. I have never known a household where my father wasn't working seven days a week, 12 months a year on the league. It's been his passion for 52 years now. From the NFL version of football to this, we don't lose too much, except we don't wear equipment. And it's not flag where you grab a flag. It's two hands as hard as you want to tag touch. That's a good hit there. It's a huge leap.